we couldn't go to the same window that the, that the white folks go to and, uh, and use the same bathroom. And uh, we had to be second. If, so if we get there first, or get there at the same time as the white person did, then we had to wait until they get served, then we'd be served. We didn't, we didn't even go to the school that they went to because we wasn't really allowed there. So we were just taught to just stay with where we were. And when they integrated up that Oak Grove, they had one white lady, I think, that was uh, what they call integrated, but wouldn't, I, I wouldn't call it integrated. They had one white person to make things look legal. Uh, and the rest were black. And it stayed that way for a while. What they call really integrated was, was uh, when they put combined those four schools together. And then that became Nevada. But I felt that back then that we was, wasn't getting we get the we get we get the books some of the books that they have but they we get them that come on down some of them you know from it but but at that time you know we what what we was taught you know we was taught good from the teachers that we had and uh, you got more history black history oh I tell you I'll stay away from this area and uh, just stay on this side. Uh, I don't say very much, you know, uh, just ask what the, if they ask you questions, you know, you either answer it or don't answer it, you know, because, uh, you know, your answer could cause confusion, you know. What the consequences, it might beat you, beat you or do something to you, you know, later on down the road or something like that, you know. Like if I, if I was coming through their neighborhood or something, you know, just driving through or something, you know, they may and they know it, you know, they may decide to do something. Uh, after they meet you on the road or something, you know, they may, some of them might drag, you know, might make you run in the ditch or something like that. Would those be like Klansmen or that? I, well, I'd I, 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 I figure that's what it would be, yes. I mean, because, you know, they, they said something around here, and uh, I, uh, I think about that because, when I sit there, when I see things happen, you know, out of the ordinary world, then uh, that's what I think about. I, I, at that night, and I told some of my friends I was going to walk in and look at the animals. And they said, okay, so they stay out on, on the fairground. So I walked out, got out of the light, you know, got in the dark kind of area. It wasn't real dark, but got away from them. And, uh, it was uh, a couple out there, it's white, they was out there. This guy was, you know, being rough with that girl, you know, talking, saying a lot of things. And so it was about five or six people, you know, white people standing there, I said, kids. And uh, they, was, they was teenagers anyway, so the guy that was, I say, harassing that the white girl was messing with, you know, picking being rough on you know, talking stuff, you know, and and I walked, he looked and he saw me, and uh, I flipped me that thing, a little piece from him, and when I got pretty, he said, look, he said, there come a, a nigga. <laughs> he said, there come a, there come a nigga. <laughs> so I'm by myself out in the dark, man, nobody could see me because I'm black and, and you know, nobody could see me out there, so <laughs> he said, yeah, so. I just kept walking, and so when I got even with him, he, he said, they, the other, some of them, the others were with, I, with, them with him, you know, he said, let that guy alone, he ain't bothering you, he said, he's not bothering you, he said, yeah, he said but, but he, well, he asked me, he said, but ain't you a nigga? I said, no, he said, well, well what the hell are you doing? I said, I'm a Negro, and uh, he said, well, excuse the hell out of me, and, uh, and, that, and that girl said, one of the other, one of the girls said, and the boy said, "Let him alone. He ain't bothering you. He ain't bothering you." So he let me alone. Then <laughs> so, so I went on out there, and I wasn't in no peace. But I went on out there and looked at the at the animals, and I came back through. They was still talking, but he didn't. They didn't say nothing. But when I came back, then I was I went to go to the restroom, and I went to, went in the women's restroom. You know, went to <laughs> some bad, but so you know what could have happened. <laughs> and so. I went back and told my buddies, and they said, where they at? 
I said, no. I said, I thank God that, that, that I'm here because they could have got me and put me in that truck or car or something, you know, kill me or something. So I said, I thank God that I'm alive. So, so we just let that alone, you know. And uh, they, 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 they just wanted to, you know, retaliate, but I just didn't want to do it. So we let that road. Were you in the uniform? No, this was, this was here in, in Arkansas. When I went in service, my coworker, he was white, and this lady was white, his friend, and they, we got off work that night. They asked me to go out to dinner with him. I told him, well, I, I guess I go by. I said, I don't want no trouble, though, you know. And so we went on downtown, and uh, <laughs> went on downtown, so we went to this place, and uh, uh, I'd always, I'd always kind of stay you know, kind of in between those two, or they in the presence of where the man could see me, you know, from behind or whatever. And so we went in, and there was a little bar up there. There was some guy, white guy, was drinking. And uh, one, you know, we walked in, so the, the waitress walked over and she spoke and everything, the ice and everything. And then she, uh, she uh, gave us a menu. So while we were looking at the menu, uh, my friend from Tennessee, which name was the name was Charles Pickett, and uh, big old, big white guy, you know, he, he was he was a tough guy too. <laughs> but anyway, we look at the menu. So this guy at the bar looked, turned around and looked, and he said, "Oh, well, now we got the damn nigga in there." And so, and so I'm sitting there, you know. It, it, and we don't decide, and Chuck was sitting here, and the ladies over there, so, no, the ladies and tweets, and I said, and I thought, the guy came over to the table. And see, Chuck was, Chuck was getting aggravated, because he, he said, he done told me, he told me, he said, well, you with me, he said, hey, well, you with me, you don't have to worry about nothing. So, he got, I could see that he was upset, you know, and I didn't want the man to put his hand on nobody, because he, he might have had to, you know, do some fighting, and I didn't want to fight, you know. That guy just <laughs> anyway. So whatever. So uh, the guy came over to the table. He said, mm. he, he, "He told me don't say nothing." He said, "Ain't you a nigger?" I said, "No." No, and then I said, "No." He said, "You a nigger?" This guy said, "My partner t told him say, I think you need to go back up to the bar. Say, nobody bothers you. Nobody invites you over here." And so, and he said, oh, okay, uh, all right. And so he said, well, we'll, we'll, we'll we, the lady came back to take, give her order, and he said, no, nah, we'll just leave, you know, we just leave. So we, we got up and left, and I, I told him, I said, I said, you know, I can tell you, I tell you I don't on, on trouble, see, because see, I didn't, and, and so, but we left, and we, we went on, you know, didn't nothing happen. Where was that? that was in Albuquerque, New Mexico, when I was in service. I, was, I wasn't in uniform, though. No, I was, I was out in civilian clothes when we was off base there, you know. But nevertheless, like I say, I, I'm thankful to be able to deal with people. My going in service helped me a whole lot. I mean, I'm talking about getting made me stronger because I dealt with people. And, and since I've been out, I've been dealing with people white and black and old and young, and, and I don't seem to have no problem with none, you know. So it's, because I always respect them, you know, and I think that's a person respected. If you respect himself and then respect others, I think he can do, do all right, live in life, you know, without a whole lot of hassle and stuff. Well, before we didn't have the, the privilege to, uh, or opportunity to, to step in, in places, you know, with a head up, and uh, to just speak, you know, certain ways and, uh, before, but afterward, then we had the opportunity to go to the same procedure that they do is open that that was open, you know, just out like that publicly, like that, you know, just like uh, going to restaurants, going inside, and you know, being respected and all like that. But I said this. Openly, it ended, but it didn't really end, you know. Nah, I mean, because he, you know, it, you can you can tell uh, the way they talk or the way they act, but you know, it's just like if if you 
if you, your mama tell you, you go, if if you don't do this thing, you're gonna get a whooping, you know. So, uh, so I I feel that deep in my heart, really. At uh, and, and and working with coworkers, you know, I I got that instinct that I, a lot of people say, well, I feel just as comfortable around the black as I do white. Well, I can't really geek really say that because that trust, uh, confidence, totally. Uh, I feel that uh, that a black man is gonna be a he gonna be straight as far as a man standing with you as a man without any offset. But uh, I feel like if a, if a white guy, a white person is uh, is there, he's gonna be saved with you. But I feel like that if it's fit fit to them and one of them, one I mean fit to them, and and one of me. Or did they they want to win him over? You know, to do whatever they want to do with them. You know, it's, it's uh, you know it's a thing that uh, I can't help. I mean, you know, but I can live with it because of Christ, because He said that we all must you know let the wheat and tab grow together. So everybody separated, but yeah, some bitter thing. But otherwise, uh, things in general, uh, I found out that in dealing with. Those people is uh, that if if you be straight with the average one that's in business or what, well, they'll treat you pretty well, right? You know. So you you develop a way of talking. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, right, right, right. I I do, and and I find uh, <laughs> yeah, I've I've I developed ways with the help of the Lord, you know, to uh, uh, to be able to deal with them as they are. If one one speak, I mean, speak in a certain manner within. I know that and I understand that, and it's no surprise to me. Uh, I, I look for, uh, or I, I'm prone to expect the worst out of an individual like that than, than the best all the time because that depends on them. I hadn't really had any, any, really, any, any bad one because, uh, like I say, now, I, cause, you know, I, I, I stay on the, on the level to where I keep my mouth shut. I don't speak when it's necessary, and I find out that that's that's the best way to deal with people like that because, uh, like, like like I mean people you know, I say white people and, and a, lot of, a lot of black people two people in general, but see in dealing with white people, I keep them out front in life, other than Christ I keep them out front, uh, you know when they feel like that they are they are up here and you're there then they keep on traveling you know. I, that's 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 from back in the days way back. They they feel like they have us in general. You know, I feel like overall they they feel like they they are they have that. I mean that that's that belongs to them. You know, and some of them, you know, and uh, you know. Uh, but I feel within my heart that if if one really know Christ, even though they've been taught that, then they they should know. You know. Me and, me and the white guy were talking, and I told him he was going to come and hear me sing, you know, here. And he said, well, I thought about it, see, and, and this is in an area down there where they, you know, that where they say some of them folks are, you know, Ku Klux Klan and all that stuff. And uh, he, uh, he said, Henry, if it was at your congregation, say, I'd feel more comfortable coming because of you, you know. He said, but I don't, I don't want, I, I don't want to, he said, I'll be frank to tell you, if I, I feel like that, and he said, my feeling could be wrong, but say, that's the way I feel if, if I come in there and, 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 and the people, you know, people look around and see me, you know, they, he said, I'd feel different, i feel funny, but, he said, but I'd go, but I wouldn't, I'd come in just to have a seat, you know, and, and, and nobody wouldn't bother them, you know, I wouldn't, I don't believe that, but, but I just like if uh, if if you really don't don't know me, you wouldn't feel as comfortable coming to my house. As, if you know, really was familiar with me as you would if you came to my house and you was familiar with me. You know, you feel more. I feel like I'm really welcome. You know, if I done told you to come like that. But I, I don't. I don't. I, f I feel like that uh, that with those with those people, like I say, I can deal with them. And but I just. There's yeah, certain things that just that never. Well, I don't think it will never go away in my life. Cause I said I'm not gonna mistreat none of them. But I, I see why I treat them right. Cause if they do do 
I feel like if they do mistreat me in, in the right way, I mean, which is the wrong way, well then, uh, I, I feel like you know the Lord permits things to happen for a reason, and uh, and everything in life is not don't come easy, you know, and people not going, people people was about the same back in the biblical days as they are now, you know, you know, there's betrayal and the wars and all that stuff and hatred. And that's gonna be, you know. But I just for them and them in general, I don't have a major problem with them. I never really have, but I've I've had some things that uh, you know, like a little bitty thing, you know, but like I say, I didn't I hadn't dealt with them like going to school with them and all that stuff, see, you know. So you want your strictly serious. Right, 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 right. And uh, we we was taught our ABCs. I think he set an example for us to follow, for on, being on a righteous level, you know, and 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 uh, and and, and uh, to walk together as brothers and sisters as Christ would have us to, despite of the color of our skin, knowing that God fixed us that way. But then we don't look at a man as just being a white or black, you know. Look at it as our brother and our sisters, you know, in Christ. And uh, that's my main. That's the main thing that I got f from him is the fact that he. He wanted everybody to be treated equally, or treated right equally, and uh, it's having the same opportunity, you know, in life. And that's what Jesus, I feel, he's, a, he's symbolic of Jesus. That's what he symbolizes, you know, and, uh, and, and that way we can walk on along together in peace and harmony in Christ. And if I look at that, all those trees out there, you got oak trees, you got gum trees, you got pine trees, but they all is the tree of the forest. You know, and uh, now if I had to uh, wanted a certain type tree, cut a tree, then I, if I want a gum tree, I go cut a gum tree. That, but and blending in all of those are trees of the forest, you know, and that's the way I look at people. Is, is all of us are children, all of us are people, just like a, a, a Rose bushes, they have different colors, but you put them all out there together, you have different colors, but still they're all are rose bushes, you know. My father was a foreman. I grew up. I just always liked to be out in the, in the open and just the, see the scenery and see things grow, you know, like that, like hogs, chicken, cows, and vegetables and all that stuff. Trees. I like to see them grow from little up. 